Welcome back everybody to another episode of some building big with germ. How's everybody doing today? In the last episode, we came over here and worked on this little area here, this little town square area. And off camera, I've been doing quite a bit of work as you can see here. Actually, these three houses here I built at the very, very end of last episode uh, in a little time lapse. But I've built these houses up off camera and I've started working out these roads. But yeah, I wanted to get all the roads laid out and then we'll start eventually building up the houses all around these. And I think it's going to be really, really cool. But I have a couple of things planned that I want to do for this episode. I want to continue these houses along here and build up the road wrapping around to the other side. And then probably try to work all of this out. And then probably work out this beach area here. Uh, I don't think that should take too much, too much effort at all. Uh, we just got to get a bunch of black concrete powder and then i want to come out here in the ocean somewhere and build a ship because i think i've figured out a way to connect all our builds that are super far away from each other and this right here is the answer this is a command block that's going to teleport me out to the austrian area but we are going to hide this in a ship out in the ocean and then we're going to rebuild that exact same ship over in the austrian area and it's going to be kind of like kind of like we're traveling by ship there so I think that's going to be really cool and a really good way to do like a fast travel type system in our world. And to be honest, I'm copying this exactly from Fix's old server, the Rumble Vastin. That is exactly what they used to do for fast traveling to super far away places. So yeah, I'm going to be taking a bit of inspiration from that, uh, from the Rumble Vastin for that. But I think that's what we're going to start out this episode with. I'm going to go ahead, do a little time lapse of me building up a ship out here. And then we'll come back and head out to the Austrian area. I'll probably just go ahead and build that other one off camera. But I think what we're going to do to start out this episode is we're going to be building a ship right out here. So let me go ahead and do that right now. all right there it is it's done oh man i think it turned out so sick i'm so happy with how that turned out i love it it is a bit different than the version i did in the time lapse i've done quite a bit of work on it since then uh this is actually the next day that i'm recording this you can see i changed out the sail made it a little bit better looking before i felt like it kind of just looked like a blob of wool and i didn't really like that so i went into a creative test world spent a ton of time trying to get the shape perfect so it kind of like bows out uh, on the edges and stuff. I think it looked, I think it turned out really, really good. But also got the colors in there, the red and the blue from the actual color of the ship. And I think that's actually gonna be our colors for this area, like our flag colors. I think that would be pretty cool. And that's kind of gonna be how we signify uh, each ship for each area. Although, I mean, each ship is going to be unique to each area. Uh, I'm gonna try to do like, Probably a more traditional style ship for our Austrian area. Uh, we'll do like some, maybe like a junk ship. Is that, I think that's what it's called. Maybe we'll do that for our Japanese area. But I think this is kind of how we're gonna be traveling between the new world and the old world as well. Let's go ahead and hop on this boat and get out of here. And like I mentioned, I've added quite a few more details since the time lapse. You can see I went in and added some of these, what are they called, the beehives? Throughout all the oak planks along here, just to add a little bit more of a little detail uh, along the side. I've lowered the oars here uh, because they were just, they were floating above the water. And if I extended them any further to get them into the water, they look super strange. So I did that. Also added this little thing on the back, which I think is supposed to be a rudder. There's one on either side. I think they're rudders. I think they're supposed to turn the ship. I think. I'm not positive on that. Although maybe it's just a sail that turns the ship. I don't know. Don't really know much about these Roman ships. This is based on a Roman ship, by the way. <laughs> yeah, these Roman ships were super cool. They had, they always had like this flare up at the end 
uh, on the back side that had like some fancy design almost looked like a feather in a lot of a lot of the ships that I saw uh, but for this one I kind of made it look like a dragon a little bit which wasn't intentional but I kind of like it and then it kind of hooks out at the front as well and it's blue on the front all together I think it turned out really really sick I'm very happy with it it's been a really long time since I've built a ship in Minecraft uh, so I'm really happy with how this turned out this is what this was my first try whoops this was my first try on this and I'm happy with it still need to add some details along the deck here uh, not exactly sure what I want to do maybe I don't know we'll probably just end up piling up some barrels and stuff like that and then this here on the front I'm not exactly sure what this is called but uh, a lot of Roman ships had this this thing where there was this big plank and then a huge spike on the end of it uh, I assume so it could just like smash into other ships it also has this like metal thing on the front almost like a little like ram uh, to ram into ships I, I think that I, I imagine that's probably what it was used for but I thought it was a really cool detail so I decided to add it like this with a little hopper and I think that's pretty much perfect but yeah I like it I'm very happy with it and right in here oh I forgot to grab a flint steel for this but this is the button we press to teleport and here we are and I didn't end up building the ship yet uh, I'm gonna end up I'll do that off camera I ended up spending all my extra time detailing that other ship but yeah, we're back out here in the Austrian area now, and man, we got a lot of work to do out here still. I think in the next episode, we might come back out here and do a bunch of work. I would like to do a bunch of trees and then fill in the mountain from this side. Since we're going to be seeing it a lot more from this side now, uh, I would like to come up here and fill in the rest of the mountain, at least from this side. Maybe even more. Either in the next episode or some upcoming episode. It is going to take quite a bit of work, so maybe I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't promise it being in the next episode. Man, it's good to be back out here though. I'm glad I'm glad we took a bit of a break because I was getting pretty burnt out on it, but I'm excited to get back here and start working again. Uh, but the reason I actually came out here, the reason I the whole reason I made the ship is for this. This is where our honey farm is. So, uh, you know what? Let me see how much we got backed up in here. Oh, okay, not too bad, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of this because we are going to need it for a shop that we're going to be building today. I'm curious, what are your guys' thoughts on the whole teleporting uh, thing between the ships? I think I would only do it. I would only do it this way on a ship. Uh, so we have to build a unique ship for each, for each location, and then we can be able to fast travel through that. I think that's a really cool, a really cool way of doing this. But let me know your guys' thoughts on it. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think. I think I mentioned this earlier in the episode, but this is where we're going to be building up the shops that I was talking about a minute ago. We're going to continue building buildings all along until this point here. Uh, and then we're going to fill up this whole square area with little like tents. Uh, we're actually going to have a fountain in the middle of it and just little tents and little stalls for different shops. And I think we're actually going to have an area over here uh, for people playing like games like tabletop games but for that I'm gonna need to gather up some materials so let me go ahead and do that really quick and then we'll come back and start working on some of that stuff together all right we're back and I've cleared out a little spot here as you can see and this is where we're gonna be putting the fountain so we're gonna be doing a little like platform around the fountain here using a mix of regular stone bricks and some mossy stone bricks and then the fountain itself is going to be a circle. So we'll do three, one, three, one, three. There we go. Just like that. And then on all the centers, we'll do slabs like this. And then actually, uh, let's take this out. I think I want to do slabs on the bottom of this as well. There we go. And then the water will be flowing down into there, obviously. So we don't need to do anything else there. All right. Then we're just going to fill all this in really quick. Uh, this is a little bit higher since we're on like kind of a hill here. Uh, it's kind of uneven here in this circle area. I thought about making it all level. Nope, not putting that there. I was thinking about making it all level, but it looked a little bit strange. So we're going to be doing this. And this looks a little weird too, but I think this is going to be as good as we can get, to be honest. All right, there we go. Now we're going to take some cut sandstone and some smooth sandstone. And we're actually going to make a couple more of these cut. All right, then we're going to do a cut sandstone there, two regular there or too smooth there and then a cut sandstone here uh, then we're going to do two walls on top of that and then stairs all the way around here and then actually we're going to put cut sandstone in each of these corners here 
And there we go, that is the shape of our fountain. Now we're gonna put water in here and let it flow down and I'm gonna grab another one to put right on top of that. And there we go, I think that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. All right, so I think what I wanna do now is build up these houses here and then I think do this beach here. Uh, and then we're gonna come back and start working on some more of the actual details in this area because I think it'll be better to do this first and then the details on top of that. And we'll be back once I got that all done. All right, here we go. Got the black sand beach all the way, well, not all the way done, but the majority of it done. Need to wrap it around that corner there at some point in the future, probably once we get that road done over there, but got this done and got these buildings in, and I think they're looking really, really nice. Let's get a view of it from the ship, actually. Oh yeah, there we go. That's looking really nice. Uh, can we get a better view maybe up here? Yeah. Yeah, this is looking really, really cool. This area is really starting to come together now. So from the ocean side, this area is actually looking pretty done. Uh, we're gonna have some more houses back behind all these houses. So we'll see some more roofs peeking over, but for the most part, the like skyline is pretty much done here. So that is awesome. We've actually made some, we've made some really good progress in the past couple of episodes. We've gotten a lot done. There are a few small things I still wanna add, like uh, I need to finish this dock and I've kinda think, I'm kinda thinking about adding a couple more docks coming out little like stone docks I think that could be cool obviously need to flatten this island here uh need to do something with those turtles I guess we should actually try to breed them uh I also I did talk about adding a statue a statue on the beach somewhere like uh what was it it was like a guy holding up a, a big shell I believe I thought about adding that like right over here but I've made a few different versions of it and man I am terrible at statues <laughs> I cannot I cannot pull it off. I may try a couple more times, but I think we may have to scrap that idea, unfortunately. But yeah, man, this area, I'm really liking how this area is coming together. Got the ship out here. I think I'm gonna do another ship like right out there. Uh, it'll be a different style, but I think it could be cool to have another ship there. We do, I mean, maybe if we wanna keep working out here, maybe we could expand the city out this way. It would be nice, it would be really nice to have like some proper docks for these ships to actually land at. So maybe, maybe we could do that. We'll see, no promises yet because we still got a bunch of stuff on the backside of this, this part of the city to do. But we'll keep that in mind. We'll definitely keep that in mind for a future potential project for this area. Man, I love how that ship turned out though. The sails are pretty much perfect, I think. It was very difficult to get it on an angle like this and on a 45 degree angle, uh, but I think it turned out pretty good for what it is. A little messy, but you know, it is a sale. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. All right, to end off this episode, I wanna do a little bit of decorating, like I mentioned earlier, with a bunch of, a bunch of stalls and stuff all around the city here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start off right here, I believe. Actually, I think it might be one more over. Yep, there we go. And then we're gonna go up three from here. So these would be three tall, and then we're gonna do just a little like lean-to type thing uh, for this. Using the warped wood, uh, I kind of want it to look like a like a tent almost. So I'm trying to use a little bit of a different color for this than I would normally use. Uh, and we're out of warp, so I'll have to go get more of that. But that's kind of what it's gonna look like here. And we're gonna do, we'll do some barrels around here. We'll do two there. We'll do one over here in the corner, and then I think another one there. Then we're gonna take some spruce stairs and slabs and we're gonna do a little table in the back here. And actually, I don't want these to be showing, so we're just gonna put some trap doors over that like that. Uh, like a little cover, a little cover for the barrel. And then using scaffolding, make another table there and another table here. And we are gonna put just candles all over the place here. Whoops, where did those go? There we go. I'm probably gonna end up getting some more of these candles. 
uh, because we don't actually have many on us right now, but you get the idea. We're gonna have candles just all over the place here. This is gonna be a little candle shop. All right, went ahead and grabbed a few more colors. Let's go ahead and pop these in here. We'll put this one here. Uh, this one can go over here, sure. You know what, actually, we should leave a couple of these open just so it doesn't look a little too crowded. Uh, and then what should we do here? I guess blue, that'll be a good color. And let's go ahead and light them all up. You know, whenever they first added these, like whenever you light the candle, like the texture that changes, like the actual light is emitting, I didn't like it, but now I am a huge fan. I, it's really, really grown on me. I like it a lot. And you know what? We could put some yellow candles right out here. Give me that, boom. There we go. Yeah, that looks really good. Maybe some of them shouldn't be lit actually. Man, they do look cool when they're lit, though. We'll leave we'll leave the rest of them lit like that. <laughs> oh, and gotta go ahead and finish this ceiling here. All right, there we go. That looks good. Okay, last thing I want to do here on camera is a palm tree. This is actually the first time I've made a palm tree, so hopefully it turns out good. Uh, but we're gonna go right here. It's gonna be a fairly small one, uh, but a pretty good looking one, I think. Gonna go right here. We're gonna do a jungle fence right there. And then including that bottom one, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then two granite on top of that. Okay, alongside these granite blocks, we're gonna go, we're gonna put filler blocks there and then put leaves in each of these corners. Now we'll break these. Then do the plus sign again, just like this. Then I think from there, we're gonna go out. Okay, gotta sleep, whoops. Okay, that bed's gone forever. Uh, I think from here, we're gonna go up one and out one like this in each on each side. And I think we can go ahead and just fill in. Actually, we won't do that. We won't fill in that. And then we'll fill in these corners here. Whoops, don't think I need one there uh, like that. This is actually, I was hoping we could do like a little tutorial of this, but this is probably gonna be way too complicated to follow. Uh, but we're gonna put one in the center here and then corners again like that. Uh, and then filler block there, boom, one in the corner here filler block here, boom, like that. We'll do that there, and then we can't do it there. Okay, I think we can jump down now. I think we're done up top. That's what it's looking like so far, and actually that doesn't look bad, but we're gonna add a little bit more to it. It's actually not a bad, that's not a bad palm tree if you wanna use that design. Uh, but if you wanna get a little more complicated, let's go up here again. We're gonna put a filler block there, right at the middle block, then break that. Boom, boom, there we go, just like that. And then on the bottom here, we're gonna do, we're gonna come out to there, boom, like that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And we'll do that all around each of the sides. Now there's probably a better way I could have explained that, <laughs> but it's still, I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. We got the last block in there, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and hop down and take a look at it. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. I am happy with that. I almost think actually I might wanna remove those bottom ones. But you know what? It's a treat. It doesn't have to be perfect. But all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more details like that around this area, and we'll be back once I got all of that done. All right, it's starting to come together slowly but surely. It's coming together. Uh, I think I do need to figure out some more details to add throughout here. Uh, I think I am gonna add like a ring of lanterns around this area, like little posts. Kind of like these, little posts, but with lanterns on top of them. I think that would definitely add a little bit to the area, but last thing I want to do here, we're going to put a boat here. It's going to be a little boat shop. And we're actually going to pop out the roof right here, I think. That should be good, yeah. And we are going to just stack up. Stack up with granite. And I don't know exactly how high I need to go, but we're going to do this. We're going to break out every other block here, and maybe I should actually put up some scaffolding. Yeah, we'll do this as we go. So we're gonna start off by going on this like third, this third pixel in, and we're gonna place a, a boat right there, exactly at this angle. And then this next one, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Boom, hopefully, hopefully that's the same angle. I think it should be. And then same thing here. I think they are a little, the angles are gonna be a little bit different, but hopefully that should be okay. Do another one there. And then at the very top, we'll do one last one here. And we're just gonna go down and break all the blocks that they're sitting on. Break that one, boom, boom. And I might've made it, I might've made it one too tall. I will break this one and then this last one. Yeah, I think it's one, yeah, it's one too tall. So we'll just break this top one off. But yeah, there we go. Got a little stack of boats here in this shop. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, 
Maybe I can grab that from the top. I don't want to bump them because then they're going to go all over the place. Okay, I don't think I can grab that. We'll just let that boat despawn. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Now we just got to hope that no mob walks into it because in my test world, I had got them all placed down and then a wandering trader just walked straight through and hopped in them and broke them all. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Uh, but let's go ahead and put one more, one more uh, stack of candles right there. And I think that is actually gonna do it for this episode. Like I said, there is more stuff that we could do here. Maybe add another palm tree over in here somewhere. But I think we made some pretty good progress today. Some really good progress, actually. We got the entire boat done and we got all this done. And this, and this beach. So I am happy with that, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think of all this stuff that I did today. Uh, what you think of the fast travel thing that I added into the world today. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.